friends, hey family, como estas? Bienvenidos. It's your girl Melissa Q back with another video. In today's video, y'all, I did this whole look. Thought I was doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. Camera was not on. What? Yes. And it's just gonna be chatty and a convo just because I was trying to do my makeup and talk about my hair because you guys love the hair portion. High porosity girls love the hair portion in my videos. So I was gonna do my makeup, we was gonna chit chat, we was just gonna have a good time, but it's changed a bit. I'll come next time with that, okay? That I wanna give you the top five reasons why my hair is not growing right now. In today's video, we're gonna talk about mistakes that I have made with my hair that I am changing and we can come in another video and talk about the changes. But in this video, we're going to talk about mistakes. Hope this helps you. In five, four, three, two, one, let's get it. So the first mistake that I made is not conditioning every week. Now, I did condition, but I did not deep condition. There's a difference to the definition. Therefore, I did not condition. Y'all know. I did not deep condition. I usually have a time clock. I used to have a time clock before I became a lazy natural. Okay? This is what I did, okay? Before I came a super lazy natural, I deep conditioned every week, nonstop, every Sunday, y'all. When I say deep condition, I mean leave the deep conditioning on for like 30 minutes. It's important to deep condition and have a good deep conditioner on your hair. I test a lot of deep conditioners that was like, meh, and then I was just, because I was testing it, I wasn't letting it to marinate like a good deep conditioner or marinate on my hair some of them were like subpar and some of them were okay a lot of them were okay not just blowing my socks off hence the reason why you have not seen just like immaculate deep conditioners that I've given five stars to I do have one that I just tried and you'll see a review on that but I wanted to come and let y'all know that is a mistake that I made not deep conditioning every week another problem that i had was i was not giving myself a protein treatment every other month now i do believe that you definitely need to have some type of routine that you start and then work from there seeing if you need to do it every other month do you need to do a protein treatment every month it was i was good with every other month because i didn't want to let off that balance you know it's really important to have a moisture protein balance in your hair and to have a healthy scalp that is really what's going to allow your hair to retain length and i want to talk about retaining length because you know if you have hair if you have breakage and it's constantly breaking off it does not matter how fast your hair grows it's going to be constantly breaking off so let me just say that the next thing that i did not do and i had a mistake of not keeping this routine up is a routine you got to have a good routine. You have to make yourself have a routine. If you don't have a good routine, mm, if you plan to fail, fail to plan, okay? If you don't have a good hair routine, it will go, it will hit the fan, I'm just saying. Um, I think having like a wash day, like every Thursday, I'm gonna wash my hair. Every Wednesday and Sunday, I'm gonna wash my hair. Have a routine. You know how often your hair needs to be washed. You know, um, if you don't, try washing it once a week. If you feel like you get product buildup, then maybe twice a week. If you know that you get more buildup like every other, just say every three days, then that's your routine for your wash day. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Um, it, it, I had a routine for deep conditioning, had a routine for washing my hair, had a routine for like how often I moisturize my hair. Hence the reason we're going to go into our next mistake that I made. The main reason that I did not retain length, and this is going to hit high porosity. You're going to say yes and amen. is not moisturizing and sealing. That is something that we have to do just because moisture escapes our hair all the time and if you don't trap it down girl it's gonna get it's gonna escape okay we gotta lock it down like alcatraz okay <laughs> i'm just saying that's just the real deal and i did not moisturize and seal it's great to have a great lightweight oil but you need to have a good moisturizer even if you're using water okay if the cuticle is raised it's going to escape you gotta have something that's gonna seal it gonna lock it down get a good lightweight get a good heavyweight Start using your heavyweight during your routine. Use your lightweight when you're moisturizing and sealing every day. And you need to contribute 
that to your product buildup. So if you're using oils and moisturizers, you might have to wash your hair a little bit more. Hence the reason why you need a good conditioning cleanser. Okay, but we can get that in another video. I just wanted to come with that mistake that I've been making. Number one mistake that I have made, okay, is constantly doing wash and goes. I'm not saying wash and goes is the devil because glycerin is the devil. Glycerin and I forgot what's glycerin cousin. Comment down below if you know what I said glycerin's cousin was. Okay, if glycerin is the devil, this is the devil cousin. I said that, but this is the devil sister. Okay, it's a little bit closer, and that is not doing stretch styles on my hair. I did a lot of wash and goes. This is a wash and go right now. I'm not saying it's bad, but if there needs to be more stretched out type of hairstyles with high porosity hair just because it tangles with it in itself, just because of the characteristics that high porosity has. Someone asked me this question and it is 100% true. She asked me it, what would be better for wash and goes if you want to retain, I mean, what is better for high porosity if you want to retain length and hands down, hands down, hands down, it is a stress st state of like a hairstyle, like twist outs, braid outs, like if you're doing blowouts, even if you're doing blowout every other week, it's still better for your hair just because and use a hair protectant of course a heat protectant but it's because your hair is in a stressed state it's not tangling with itself it's not getting those issues you're not getting more single strand knots and you're not breaking off your hair hence the reason why you will get more length retention this is just mistakes that i made for hair growth i hope you found this helpful you guys Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. Comment down below. Let me know what mistakes you've made because in order to get some real solutions, we got to talk about our real mistakes, okay? Let's take responsibility for what we're doing wrong. I'm taking responsibility for what I did wrong and we're coming to improve it, right? So that's what we're going to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.